All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to... Oh, it's upstairs. Damn it. All right, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, yeah, I went on a three-month hiatus. I haven't really been, you know, focusing that all that much um, when it comes to uploading videos. Uh, there was times where I just didn't upload at all. Uh, my schedule has been all over the place, basically. And uh, one of the reasons I didn't post for that long is because of one thing that I've been talking about in my channel channel before and that's basically uh, my work schedule my work schedule has been a complete mess for almost half a year now and uh, hopefully I'm really like hoping that by next uh, year early on my schedule will finally clear itself out and uh, you know I could just get back to regular Assassin's Creed being uploaded and you know uh, other videos as well um, and also it's because I was focusing on other little projects like uh, you've seen one where I just you know talk about some urban legends uh, and, and their background and stuff uh, you, you guys should definitely go check out those videos but uh, yeah we're not here for that we're here to play Assassin's Creed Unity I've honestly missed this game so uh, yeah let's uh, let's get it all right the Jacobin Club Lafreniere plan of vault midnight raid on hotel business finally what happened okay Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispa? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. Unfuckle. What the hell are you thinking? How dare you defy the The next time you suddenly hand the council, I'll you, you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Gil. Ah. Uh. Go then. See what you can learn. But no more rash action. Hm? Yes, Mentor. A bit of, you know, hypocrites, basically. Uh, because they're blaming Arno that, uh, you know, why did he do it without their permission? I mean, it's kind of understandable. Uh, they're basically uh, his boss. His bosses, I should say. And... Uh, I mean, it's understandable in that direction, but I mean, that still doesn't give them an excuse to call Arno a murder, you know, when that's basically their job, that's basically what they do, and it's gonna, it's gonna be like, um, let's say Arno didn't go through it, right, and he reported back, and then uh, Lefrenier, I believe that's his name, uh, escaped or somehow, or, or there was more like tragedies, you know, I feel like they would have ended up... Uh, blaming Arno for for failing in that sense you know because I feel like the French order in this game are like the most uptight that we've encountered in all the series you know I don't think they're the worst order I think that's the American uh, assassins order but 
uh, you know, I feel I feel like uh, I feel like they're the most uptight ones, basically, and I feel like they're kind of being hypocrites in a sense. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get to our uh, to our destination. I posted like three videos before this, right? Before this episode, where I was just doing Paris mission missions, and uh, I, I didn't have any like uh, audio on that one, like uh, like me talking basically. And uh, that's because I don't think um, I'm gonna be doing like uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be talking in those videos because they're just extremely short, and there really isn't nothing to talk about. It's just like regular uh, you know side missions that they give you like uh, you know protect this person, you know deliver this, do this, and there's really not much I can say to those missions, right? So uh, those missions, story missions, they're just gonna be like silent. Uh, you're only gonna hear the gameplay, and uh, you know I'm gonna try to make them as cinematic as I can, you know, by taking away the HUD, and uh, yeah, that's about it. But uh, I think we should be arriving over here. I feel like that's uh, that's what this game has. It has like this magic, you know, because I think it's just a very well uh, made game in the terms of like how how it's looked or how it looks. I mean. Uh, that, you know, after you don't play it for a while, it just makes you want to come back because, uh, just the environment and the whole feel of it just feels really nice. Like, uh, I think that, like, I, I've said this before so many times, but I think this is, like, the best looking Assassin's Creed game. Like, I think it just looks incredible. And also the best, uh, parkour mechanics. Because, uh, they're definitely realistic. Use, like, real, uh, parkour experts, masters, I don't know how you call them. Yeah, I'm not gonna chase him. Uh, okay, let's uh, see if we can call this. There we go. And I'm sorry if you guys uh, hear like any background noise, like the the fan of my PC or my PS4. Um, a lot of the settings got screwed up in in that time that I didn't upload videos for three months. So I'm gonna try to figure that out once again and make sure that you guys don't hear that uh, background noise as much. But uh, yeah, this is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Let's Is that, uh, yep, I was about to say that. Friend, you do get about, don't you? All right, go to the Hotel Beovis. Beovis? I'm sorry for my pronunciations. I don't speak French, you know. Um, I failed Spanish in, in high school, so there's that. And you know the crazy part is? I know Spanish. I know how to speak Spanish. And, uh, yeah, I ended up failing Spanish. So, uh, yeah, go figure. Oh, I thought it was only one person. There we go. Now it's only one person. I think I should equip my sword instead of the spear. I feel like at this point, like, uh, their levels are, uh, are uh, bigger than uh, what my spear can handle, you know what I mean? And I just feel like the blocking is so slow with the spear. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna equip the sword actually. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh one handed. I think I had a pretty overpowered sword that I unlocked early on. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Uh yeah, I think it was that one. Alright, let's go with that. I actually want to see something. I want to see what level the sword is because I believe you can see the levels. So, officer's sword. Okay, that's level four. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right, so I basic I basically try to drive those two uh, <laughs> dudes up there berserk because I thought they were snipers and apparently they're not. So, uh, yeah, I guess we don't have any berserker darts anymore, unfortunately. Um... And I don't know where a good hiding spot would be, actually. Maybe in there, the closet? Oh, that's one target. Oh, that's two targets. Le there's Latouche, and I think the other person that uh, Latouche is going to talk to. Let's go over here. Let's take this window. What's going on in the back room? I don't know. And if you're smart, you'll let it lie. What's that supposed to mean? Just that some folk don't like people prying into their affairs. Savvy? And the crazy part is that I only have one Phantom Blade left. 
Oh, it's three dudes, dude. I was literally about to run up in there and uh, try to take the two big dudes out at the same time. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be possible at this point. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just keep it moving then. It was a crime worthy of death under Tiberius to praise Brutus. Caligula condemned to death those who were so sacrilegious as to undress before the image of the emperor. Once All right, so uh, invented the crime of if that dude turns the corner, I'm gonna hit him with my. Uh, okay, he didn't. All right, let's just go for it. To think that it merited a punishment like more gentle than death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime. Well, if the monstrous unit oh, shit. between ignorance and despotism invented in it. That was actually really freaking close. Holy crap. How much longer must we wait? I do have other business to tend to. Just a little bit longer. The Grand Master wants the politicals to think before we begin. I trust we'll finally learn Puffs the meaning behind our recent activity. Routine. All will be made clear. I don't no like it. Strong the plan is still too vulnerable. <laughs> and let's not forget, La Frenière is still out there somewhere, all waiting to burn us all at the stake. Yeah, we yet then. But what? La Frenière is dead. Alas, Hours ago, in fact, oh, assassins. That seems convenient. Uh, that's the thing about assassins. Point them at a Templar conspiracy, and they ask no questions. Go right for the killer. Predictable reality. Come on, fetch your captain and get started. Oh, yeah, this is bad. I freaking hate going up against these dudes, man. Yeah, I got fucking destroyed. Jesus Christ. Alright, that's fine. That's completely fine. Alright, so Latouche. Is that Latouche? I think he should be above us. No, he's right there. Okay. So we got our ass kicked very, fairly easily. And uh, that's, uh, that's a good demonstration of why you should probably equip a lot of equipment before you begin, uh, you know, long missions. <laughs> Wait, is that an open window? Yes, it is. I need an answer, friend. Sniper's room in Zerg. We failed that Fair kill enough. from hiding spots. What's going? Now here's the thing. I can go on like this all day, but you, you've got an hour left in you, two at the most. Ah, if I bring out the sharp bits. So why not skip the end game and go directly to me? Tell me where it is, and all this can be over. What was that? I lived in Kumbo. <laughs> You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. You right there? That was Loki kind of close. <laughs> So I can't. If I remember correctly, down here there has to be like another stairwell that we can uh, go in. Yep, there it is. You were right. King Louis been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Plotting the revolution out of one side of his mouth while he promises to support the constitution out the other. The great work requires patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. 
Well, the assassins already found Sivir and the Wadetun. Oh, Sivir and Lawar already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Serbra? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Serre will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Sins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be so lucky. Quite right. Let's try to do this a bit sneaky. Ladies and gentlemen, for my part, I should retire to the sanctuary and await the final phase. Will that satisfy you, Captain? I'll see the watch triple. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Seems we have a spy, boys. Oh shit. The spy on the loose. Watch the exit. The spy will be making a run for it. Oh. Hold a moment, not dreaming. This is my They closed the freaking doors, the windows, I mean. Damn it. You know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna try to get to the to the rooftop, and honestly, just hope for the best at that point. There it is. Oh, this fucking door, my worst enemy. Don't pester me, maggot. There it is. Well, that went pretty smooth. It honestly didn't. It really didn't. I think uh, we screwed up so many times in this mission. But, I mean, at least we got... Uh, I was going to say, at least we got some challenges. <laughs> and we also failed that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I think this was a, a complete failure in the sense of uh, gameplay-wise. Oh, what the hell? All right, there we go. Let's try to save this guy, but uh, I mean, I guess it's the only good thing we did this uh, this mission. But uh, it's honestly very nice to be back doing these videos. I honestly missed the, the series. I missed you know, talking to you guys in a sense, and uh, you know, it, it's just very fun. I, I like doing this, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have more videos to come. Um, I, I'm gonna try my best not to ever go back to one of those hiatuses where it's like just three months of not uploading a single thing but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll definitely see you guys next time peace